Okay, so now what we're going to do, it's been an up and down day. Uh, kind of last night and today I've battled with just moving forward. Um, so I'm going to start a little bit of a thing today about just to explain to you guys. Um, kind of like a, a series about who I am and where my life started. Um, maybe some lessons you'll learn. Uh, maybe not. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to start from the very beginning of my life and work my way up throughout the videos. Um, so my mom was born in Ontario, and um, she was brought up in a time where pretty much couldn't even have a boyfriend until you were 21. You worked all around the farm. Um, and, you know, there was none of this crazy stuff going on. Um, so basically, I think what happened, I will get, I'm, I'm also going to interview my mom, too. So there's going to kind of be like a part two to every, um, episode, I'm thinking. Again, I'm working things out, so work with me. Um, anyway, so yeah, my mom was born in Ontario, I think met my dad uh, in Alberta somewhere. Um, it was a crazy life. My dad had gone through a lot of stuff. Um, I think really I've only heard the tip of the iceberg. Um, he had a big family. He battled with all sorts of things from his dad coming out of the war to alcoholism to all sorts of things. So I can't put the blame on really anybody you know you always got to look I guess at two sides of the story right so um yeah he had his issues too so my mom battled with him they battled back and forth um and eventually got pregnant with me she moved to Ontario and um I think had me out there if I'm correct and I didn't even come out I I had I hadn't even become one day old, and I was already a freaking badass, a meathead. Uh, I broke my mom's tailbone. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> so, anyways, so, yeah, my life. Um, Freak from the beginning started out crazy. So, uh, I think what happened is we went back to Alberta, and... Um, raised me, I had, uh, I had, I only remember so much, right, so I'm gonna bring you through some times that I remember, and then hopefully maybe come back later on in time when I find out maybe some more information, and give you kind of a little bit of a run back, so, uh, she had me, her and my dad divorced at, I don't know, three or something, again, just crazy times, uh, and I was in an apartment, I remember. Um, I'm not sure, if, I don't think my mom, I'm pretty sure my mom at that point was divorced, so I had to be about three. Everybody said she should have gotten an award for taking care of me because I was the craziest, most ADHD kid you'd probably ever meet. Um, the things I went through from uh, many, many different schools to counselors to principal's office to straps to maples assessment center to jail to everything so um yeah so i definitely uh i definitely was a nutcase kid <laughs> um and as you can still tell i still kind of got add i've grown out of it a bit i've learned how to deal with it a bit um I think I got a bit of depression once in a while, but again, I've been through a lot, so, um, yeah, so I remember my mom had, had no run around, she had to go get something, go down the hall or do laundry or something, and I'm, I was sleeping, and I, I remember waking up in my bedroom and feeling like, Oh, where's my mom, you know? So I go check my mom, and she's not around. And I'm like, what the heck? What the heck is going on? Like, where's my mom? I'm like, three years old. 
pretty sure I was three. Maybe a little bit older. I don't, uh, like I said, I'll talk to her. So anyways, I'm like, I'm like, she's not around me. She's never really been around me. She's always been around my whole life. She's always, she's always been my backbone. So, so I'm freaking out in my head. I, I still remember most of it to this day for the most part. And I'm like, she's gone. Like, she completely left me. Like, <laughs> I don't know what is going on. And I'm like, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, I'm like going up and down. Like, and, and I go up, we're in an apartment. And I'm going up and down the hall. Like, where's my mom? Where's my mom? What's going on? So anyway, she ended up being found or coming back and being, you know, everything was good. So, uh, yeah, I think I probably woke up everybody in the whole apartment building. And, yeah, that wasn't, uh, you know, probably one of her favorite times. I think in that same apartment building we had rabbits and, and I had my cat Money Mun for a long time. I remember him. And, uh, again, when I was young, I was with my cousin James and I think Wayne was even there. And, uh, um, I think, like, we came home and the freaking cat had ate the rabbits or some crazy thing. Same apartment building. Uh, all of a sudden my mom starts screaming and I run out and I'm like, what's going on? And she's, like, on top of the, standing on top of the table. And there's a mouse and my cat's running around chasing this mouse, throwing it up in the air. So, yeah, that was pretty crazy. It was a pretty crazy apartment building, actually. I, I, that's pretty much the memories I, re I remember from that apartment building. So, um, yeah. So I got lots of stories, lots of crazy stories. Um, been through some sexual abuse, some physical abuse, some... Um, Maple Assessment Center, which is a place for bad kids, like I said, again, uh, jail a couple times, uh, on the streets, homeless, into drugs, um, I went from 140 pounds down to probably 90 pounds, um, so there's lots of stories I got to tell. Um, so anyway, so this is the first episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys can learn some lessons. Um, this is just the beginning. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll talk soon.